What is a good The Bad Guy Wins movie? Inside Man with Clive Owen and Denzel. Fallen with Denzel and John Goodman. Azazel, T. I'm, is on my side, yes it is. Inside Man is Suyuk a good movie. And you have that song from Dilsa stuck in your head the whole time to distract you from the fact they got away with it. Ford vs. Ferrari. The story of a corporate giant outspends and crushes a small artisan company. Fun movie though. Only if you decontextualize everything and view it exclusively macro. Enzo Ferrari was a huge dick to someone, is the origin of several automotive legends. And that's how Lamborghini was born. Man on fire. I see what you mean, but I believe Creasy. Dies in the back seat of the car, so they don't get to actually torture or kill him. And the villain is killed in the end. So they don't really win. But yeah, I was sobbing. It was not the happy ending I wanted. Joker. Falling down. Watchman. Sort of. Valkyrie. Crazy to think that Hollywood didn't have to embellish much because those events actually happened in real life. The Wolf of Wall Street. Nightcrawler, definitely. Only a few people mentioned it in this thread which I find surprising. It fits the definition of the bad guy winning perfectly and it is also a really good movie. Say 7 in. The Big Short. This is the real answer because not only did the bad guys win, they did it in real life and we all fucking lost as a result. Not what I was thinking when I started reading the replies, but this movie totally fits. The Dark Knight, 2008 The Rock America wins despite being the true villain. John Wick? I mean he's literally a retired assassin that goes on a rampage and kills another 60,000 people in all three movies. For movies. Yes, but he killed all those people over, a fucking dog, therefore he's in the right and has to be the good guy. Old boy. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Saw series. Prima. Spoilers below. And likely above. Midsummer, if you treat the cult as the bad guy. The cult is definitely the villain of the story. Unforgiven. Eastwood's character is the bad guy. He killed women and children and everything that walked or crawled. He was a hired vigilante. Little Bill was the law. But he was also a belligerent asshole who beat a man to death and let another get away with cutting up a woman's face because she was a whore. He got what was coming whether he deserved it or not. Deserved ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah this one came to mind, fantastic movie, but everyone feels a bit morally grey in it and I'm not sure anyone really wins in the end. High Plains Drifter is another one. I mean, it's revealed in the end that Eastwood is some supernatural embodiment of vengeance but the movie opens with him raping a woman and he's still portrayed as a hero for the bulk of the film. Karate Kid Yeah, but it is not presented that way when you watch it. Because it's a BS argument. Daniel isn't the bad guy. But nor is Johnny 100% the bad guy. Danny is a clueless teen who walked into a local dynamic ruled by karate enthusiasts being mentored by a psychopath, and unwittingly made it worse by flirting with the ringleader's old girlfriend. He didn't start the fight with Johnny. Johnny pushed him down and Danny, reasonably, thought the fight was on. Also, the kick to the face at the end was tournament legal. Danny even got in a prior hit to Johnny's nose, and the refs only called a timeout. Johnny was misled by his teacher into believing the world exists only in black and white. They're only friends or enemies. No in-between, no compromise. And even then, he wasn't a complete asshole. He tried to talk with Allie and mend things civilly at the country club. And at the end, he even congratulated Danny on winning the tournament. Watch Cobra Kai which is from Johnny's perspective. Black Panther but in a weird way. The good guy wins, but the bad guy was kinda right, and his objective continues on as the good guy sees his point. Killmonger wasn't right. He was delusional. 
had he successfully sent the weapons out to various militant groups around the world. What would have been the result? Most likely, a bunch of militants getting blasted to kingdom come by government armies. Everyone now either has vibranium technology or knows about it, and Wakanda becomes a pariah state. Cue the next movie where the Avengers have to go into Wakanda to take out Killmonger, and afterward Tony Stark has the exclusive rights to the vibranium tech. In the Mouth of Madness The Last Samurai for sure. Fallen One of my favorite movies of all time, Megamind. Watchmen is a good superhero one. Rocky Rocky always catches people off guard if they have seen the sequels first. It's such a sensitive, tender movie set in an environment of bleak social realism and daily misery. Paulie's self-hatred, Adrian's shyness, Rocky working as muscle for a lone shark. Absolutely nothing like the sequels. See also Rambo. Rocky always catches people off guard if they have seen the sequels first. I love that. People are asterisk shocked asterisk by how grimy the whole film is. By how weird and uncomfortable Rocky and Adrienne's relationship is. By how unpleasant the film is willing to be. I really adore the scene where Mickey and Rocky are arguing in his apartment. It's such a tender and painful scene between two characters who've both been hurt. Mickey sees himself and his past failures in Rocky, and doesn't want to train him because he just can't stand to have it happen to someone else. Rocky sees his only chance at being somebody in Mickey training him and feels like he's not being given a shot. Both of them are right, and both of them hurt one another because they can't stand to be in pain again. And because it's a sports movie, the bad guy is not a bad guy, just an opponent. Which opens the door for a really beautiful friendship between the two to form in the following movies. Great series, every single one is worth watching. People who haven't seen assume they are just about guys punching each other. Not at all, there is relatively little of guys punching each other, actually. And because it's a sports movie, the bad guy is not a bad guy, just an opponent. And then Rocky 3 to we happened, each with a clear bad guy, as the opponent. Ex Machina While the men are framed as the point of view, the AI are the protagonists. And they're just fighting for survival. Caleb only tries to save Ava because he's attracted to her. The antagonist definitely doesn't win. Revenge of the Sith One flew over the cuckoo's nest, silence of the lambs, Hannibal, primal fear, memento, fight club, matchstick men, shutter island, the dark knight, unbreakable, split and glass. Unbreakable. Dude gets arrested in the end, doesn't he? But primal fear for sure. I've seen Memento 5X and still can't remember it ironically. Chinatown, The Empire Strikes Back, Infinity War Don't know if anyone really wins on this one, but I'd say that in All Quiet in the Western Front, the good guy doesn't win at all. Yeah, the point of the movie is that in war, nobody wins. The Bad Guys Passengers, 2016 Chris Pratt plays what amounts to someone who gives his victim a severe case of Stockholm Syndrome and then lives happily ever after. Still enjoyed the movie, though. The Great Silence 